All right, I know what you're all thinking. Yeah, two videos in two days. What's going on? Becoming a Mr. YouTuber or something like that? Nah, I just went to the comic shop today. I feel like talking about it a little bit. Just getting back to normal was uh, a really big deal today. It just felt good, you know? <laughs> I mean, the shop's been open for a couple weeks. And I stopped in a couple weeks. I didn't really have anything on my subscription list that... I can even remember. I think it was like a facsimile that I had, but it didn't feel like I got a subscription to or got anything worthwhile. You know, <laughs> I think it was um, I can't even remember what it was. It was like a facsimile of something. But today I went to the shop and it felt like an actual real, you know, trip to the store. I got a couple of issues. Finally got my Batman issue. Got my Batman fix going. But it just felt like normal again. And I'm just going to show off the books that I bought today, picked up off the shelf. Uh, read a few of them, some of them I didn't read. We'll just go through them real quick. Uh, so the first couple were not on my pull list, but I picked them up. First one I picked up is Day Dead, or Dead Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Dead Day. Um, I think... I'm accidentally picked this one up i was think i was looking for year zero is the one i looked was because i was reading it i was like man i heard because i heard a couple of youtubers talking about the series uh, year zero and for some reason i thought it was this one and i picked it up i mean it's not a bad issue it's not a it's you know one day a year of the dead come back it's just uh after going through with a revival not that revival was a bad thing or series it's an image series back in from the early 2010s but it's just, I have, <laughs> after reading the 192, 93 issues of Walking Dead, uh, you know, I really don't want to read too much more character building. <laughs> just get me to the action. Uh, that's what I think. Uh, I'm digging like stuff like Savage Dragon and Spawn a lot more. I mean, just like, just action. I just don't, I don't. What I don't need 55 issues of character building. I don't even know if this is an ongoing series or if it's, like a mini series, like a six issue set, but uh, it's not a bad book. I mean, if you're looking for something that's you know deals with the, the dead, <laughs> this might be for you. But take a quick peek inside so you can see what it. Again, there's the characters are great in it, they're strong characters, but it just I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> I just just have no desire to. Yeah, go on another long run or anything like that. So I may pick it up and trade, depending how it does. But that'll be the last issue I buy. That uh, another one I picked up. Yeah, you know, this is sort of a cover buy. I was flipping through it and I was like, "All right," I was like, "I'm gonna buy this." I, I don't buy too many Catwoman issues. I bought like the Art Germ variants, and those are basically all cover buys. Uh, I mean, I thought the story was okay. You know, I, I liked it enough. That I kept buying it, <laughs> but uh, it was really for the art germ covers. You know, of course, people buy um, some of the older series for the Adam Hughes and Darwin Cook covers and stuff like that. Uh, the Darwin Cook series part, the four part series, is really good. Check that out if you can. From the, I think it's like the second series. But yeah, I'm flipping through this, and I was like, you know, what, what else would you want? You know. <laughs> uh, Lady with a you know, old mother with a whip, you know, going after two uh, two maids <laughs> dressed up like Halloween maids. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I figured I'd pick it up, read it. I didn't get a chance to read it, so who knows? But uh, yeah, I figured I'd give it a try. Hey, who knows? Might pick it back up. So that was all for stuff that wasn't on my pull list. Uh, on my pull list here, of course. Still picking up Shazam. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this on my pull list for too much longer. Uh, I enjoy it, but it's just like, all right, you know, I basically jumped on because of the movie. I really love the movie. And it, it was a new series coming out. So I think I, but it's been on my pull list since, you know, issue one. It's already up to 12 now. So I'm thinking maybe jumping off on issue 15. Uh, I think it's, a, if I read uh, the previews correctly, it's like the end of a series. Uh, storyline so and the way things are going who knows it might get canceled before that 
yeah, I'm not sure how good this is or well this is selling. Is anybody else picking this up? Or am I the only guy? <laughs> the only one left. Uh, of course, it was the Joker's 80th anniversary. Uh, I wanted the Dell Auto cover. I think everybody else wanted that cover too. So, but uh, the other cover I wanted and I got was the uh, Jock cover. Yeah, I just think that cover's sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jock does an awesome job. This is for the 2010s. Uh, Joker, of course, the new 52, or, you know, if you've read that, um, read any of that series in Detective Comics, issue one of the new 52, uh, Joker gets his face cut off <laughs> by the doll maker, and, uh, it gets, it, yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, it rips the skin right off his face, <laughs> so that's what that looks like, it's all stitched on there, because he comes back, I think, like, a year later, or something like that, yeah, I think it was about a year, it's either a year, year and a half later, in Batman, for the death of the family uh, storyline, and he got that mask. It's like <laughs> a dead skin mask, you know, like Slayer. <laughs> but yeah, there's about there's quite a few stories in here. I read uh, the majority of it. I mean, it's just uh, also um, I'll put that off to the side. But yeah, it's a uh, it's worth picking up. I thought I thought it was worth the ten dollars. Uh, you know, go to your shop. You know, if you if you have a pull list or something like that. Yeah, I got like 15% off, so uh, I'll be looking for the Dell Auto, but I'm not going to go out of my way uh, looking for it. It's just, just uh, it's 10 bucks is a lot of money that I go you spend it on something else, like bags and boards. <laughs> and of course, the issue probably everybody picked up. Uh, I do have the variant coming. I'm not sure when. <laughs> uh, so, uh, upcoming video, you'll probably see it. But of course, this is issue 92. Um, I don't know. It's what is it? The first really full appearance of uh, Punchline. I don't know. I don't follow that stuff anymore. It just seems like, yeah, people trying to like, get an edge on every little thing. So whatever. But uh, <laughs> but I've been really digging this. Uh, this Batman run, I think it started issue 85, I can't remember, it's the uh, Tibion run, uh, if you're not picking it up, man, or lady, <laughs> if you're not picking it up, do yourself a favor, and uh, you know, try to find the back issue, right now it's a little tough, uh, you might be able to find some second prints and stuff like that, third printings, um, but it's uh, it's been really good, of all the issues so far, I mean, this is probably my Sort of my least favorite one, but it was still good. You know what I mean? It's uh, that's how you know it's a good series when you get, you got a least favorite one, but it's like it's not you don't know, like not like it, but but the build up to this uh, uh, this upcoming Joker uh, storyline here, I guess going up leading up to issue one hundred is uh, this is just the laying the the groundwork for it. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm not really really interested in another joker story but uh i'm digging it so i'm sort of excited again but i made a video a couple years ago that i'm pretty much jokered out <laughs> as i'm showing two uh, issues with the joker on it but or in it <laughs> but it's just uh it's just he's been it's been so overdone and i'm just move, time to move on you know let him disappear for a couple years after this but Speaking of disappearing, I'm not sure what's going to happen after issue 100. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see, especially with all the stuff going on at DC. Uh, I'm just hoping they don't renumber it. But I have a feeling it's going to... I'm not sure how close it is for Batman 1000. Let me do some quick math here. Yeah, they're probably still a good 140 issues away for getting to Batman 1000. So I imagine you're going to keep doing the the bi-weekly on this to get to that thousand real a lot quicker and i imagine uh i they're probably going to just renumber it again start over with another another issue one then jump to the uh you know somewhere like 950 or 952 or something like that that's my prediction for them the leading up to 1000 so eh, no, there's no basis in that just me rambling on but all right guys thanks for watching I appreciate all the comments and stuff I get. Uh, what issue did you get of the Joker, if you got it? What, I mean, what cover did you get? 
let me know what was your favorite one me i like the dell auto one but i really like this jock cover too so all right guys thanks for watching check out my instagram i'll leave a link down below talk to you next time